Oh, what's up Twitch? What's up YouTube? What's up world? Arthur signing back in and we are playing some more Stable Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition. Um, I'm, as of today, as of this stream, I'm going to be starting. I, I, I want to beat this game um, in lethal. Lethal being the hardest difficulty in the game. Um, did I just press continue? Uh, we're going to actually start a brand new uh, community in lethal difficulty. So um, we're going to do just that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to restart this. I tried it a uh, couple of, couple of days ago. Um, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> My home status is depressed. <laughs> but no, I, I think I, I got the like the strategy for lethal. I also watched a YouTube video on just tips and st strategic gameplays of how to play out uh, lethal difficulty. So let's go to manage and we'll go to yeah, see this one, home, the homestead, lethal zone, meager valley. We're going to do the same thing, but completely brand new. Why do I keep doing that? I meant to delete it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hope everyone's doing okay. okay. I have to... Okay, no, no. Go back. Exit. To main menu. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I keep, I keep going back to the same... Okay. Campaign. Manage communities, delete community, continue. Um, we're gonna delete the com all of it, all of it. I don't want. We're gonna start brand new and random, uh, random survivors as well. So lethal. Accept. We're gonna go to. I think meager valley is the easiest one for me to to do. So. Um, yeah, we'll do Meager Valley. Alright, Survivor. We're gonna go random. Um, we're gonna select... I need a Warlord. Uh, we'll start off with a Builder. Yeah, let's find a Builder. Actually, let's do a Sheriff. A builder as well. Okay, traits are looking a little... 25% standing rewards, uh, has trivia, seven slots, slot backpack, no, 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 I want, I, we need a builder, we need a, a survivor with plus, um, traits, um, that way we have benefits, plus one noise, nah. It's already oh okay all right here we got one here grace grace got plus 30 st max stamina which is good minus 30 percent injury severity let's pick her for warlord although she only has a six slot backpack oh, but she's she's got uh two pockets which is good um and then her fifth her fifth uh skill is clear so we can basically she's a decent shot limited high altitude tough okay good yeah we'll pick her as our warlord no. Mittens. She loves. He loves. He loves <laughs> fishing. Max stamina. Nah. Trader would be good. Nah. Craftsman. Craftsmanship. Nah. Sheriff. Nah. Trader with. Wait. Trader with chemistry? Ooh. Plus 10 max health. Trader. Plus 10. Morale doesn't... Eh, I don't know if morale... You know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll... Seven slot. Chemistry. What's good for chemistry? I don't think... Okay, we'll just... We'll, we'll put her on hold if we don't have anyone else. Oh, crap. We'll change her. 
Oh, damn. And a seven slot Greek trivia. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Access carrying capacity. One item stack size. It's good, but it's not Aaron. Uh, we already have a warlord. Sheriff. No. Misa. Uh, plus minus forty percent injury severity. Plus forty five max. Ooh, forty five max health as a builder. Yeah, let's keep her. Uh, I want to change uh, the middle one. Picking. We have a warlord. Four morale. Okay. Uh, I think we could do Joker. Nah, nah. Let's change Joker. Here's one. Well, we already have the Warlord, though. Later, no. Medicine. Mechanics as a builder. But no good traits. Craftsmanship as a builder. Nah. Plus 100 infection resistance. Okay, we need. I'm gonna pick him as our builder, Donald, and change uh, Nisa to someone else. Uh, traitor. Uh, gardening. Uh, traitor? No. Nope. That was a bad standing award. Okay. Trader, sleep psychology, <laughs> sheriff, uh, warlord, sheriff, sheriff, sheriff. Oh, minus twenty five percent. Oh, you know what? And get an eight slot. Let's pick Lisa. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. I'm ready. Are you guys ready for this? Lethal, man. Lethal. The hardest and game difficulty. We're empty again. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I almost got ripped apart by a feral. I have a better idea. We could settle down here instead of moving on. I admit, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. But now that you mention it, it does feel kind of homey. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. We just have to find a spot that's defensible, maybe with some room to expand. All right, here we go. First things first, let's empty the truck. Let's do this the right way the for trunk. once and find some place safe. Uh, if we're gonna we clean out this area, we could use a base of operations. All right, now the first thing I, I know there's a feral, it kicks you off with a feral, uh, blood feral here, and a horde, yeah, okay, I know for a fact there's material here, uh, food and medicine here at these two locations, material here as well, so, oh, is that a screamer? That's a screamer. Yeah, the, guys, this is gonna be a long play. Back down, uh, this is gonna be a lo long play series because I wanna take my time on this game, on this difficulty. There's gonna be a lot of stealth, stealth kills. Um, I don't know how quickly we can get to a plague heart um in this difficulty but i would love to i've tried lethal before and i've died immediately and i would like to avoid doing that so nothing to turn your nose up at parts parts is not it's not bad it's not bad also, um, everything is minimal now. 
I think like influence you receive from like certain uh, uh, zombie kills, like headshots on um, like screamer, feral exploders. I think I o I think you only receive like two or five. I'm assuming I'm assuming blood plague will be fifty or twenty five uh, influence in this difficulty. So we'll just have to, uh, we'll have to, we'll definitely need to take our time with this game, with this difficulty, sorry. So, um, but yeah, what was that? That was an explosion. Bloater, maybe? Oh yeah, so just here, just to give you, um, difficulty, everything's on lethal. I am not, I'm streaming and you will see that it's not switched. And for every for every stream on on lethal, I will at the beginning you'll you'll see. I'm, we're gonna do a ch uh, difficulty check, like right at the beginning. I'll show you guys Nothing that it's still in lethal because you can you can you can change it mid game. Um, but just to prove to you that it's all it's lethal, uh, I I will will do um, difficulty check. Um, yeah. Got bolts for looks like heavy bolts and some ammo. Oh, and the other thing is, I want to try to find. I think I know where a crossbow might be. Well, that ain't half bad. Oh, material! What? This bad materials? What the heck? Okay, that's lucky. I think I know where to find crossbow. Like right away. Right away. I don't know if it's going to be a good one, but we'll try to, we'll try. Okay, is everyone's so back half full? Down. Let me just... Preferably with some good looting nearby. Okay, that's not full. I'm tired of living on the run. We need a place okay, we We're going to give them... We're going to, uh, we're going to fill everybody's backpack before we move to our new base. Because we're, we're already making, making our way over there anyways. So let's just loot what we can towards the base. Um, I've been wanting to stream this game forever. Forever. Like, lethal lethal def difficulty. Um, I did before on Nightmare, um, and I just thought it was just such a bad content. It was, got, like, very, very few views. And I'm hoping the series will get at least... Oh, by the way, guys, thank you so much for the support on um, the Ascent playthrough on the first episode you guys gave me i asked i was like you know it wouldn't i wouldn't mind getting 20 views on this on this uh on this game and this uh video and you guys gave me over 200 views for that for that first episode of ascent um yeah i truly appreciate you guys and uh and all the support um but yeah for this series uh, especially with this ep first episode of Lethal uh, Difficulty on uh, State of Decay 2. Uh, I'll aim. I don't know. We'll no see. Room for that. I mean, you guys, you you guys have, you know, supported me enough. But a hundred. Let's let's see if it reaches a hundred. Wouldn't mind a hundred. Hundred views. Hundred views. Hundred likes. Whatever. I'm I'm really not doing this for, I'm just doing this for fun. So it, it would be nice. It would bring joy to me if I got, you know, if I see a hundred. <laughs> Some people aim for like millions. I I'm not I'm not greedy like that. I'm just doing this for fun. I just got off work too, so I thought you know what. Um, let's play a little bit of State of Decay too. So. Looks like they're cleared out. Okay. I'm tired of living uh, on the run. We need a place we can defend. Let's give you some Where am I gonna more... put that? Okay, we're so Time he's full up. New digs. We're gonna give her some of that and we'll keep looting. Oh man, I seriously cannot wait for State of the K3. I love I love this game. Uh yeah. A little a little over four hundred hours on this game. So we know there's food here. 
and I know that for a fact that the as soon as you um uh as soon as you take that base, got all that there house, is to get here um <clears throat> ammo will be very minimum minimal so everyone's got rucksacks we're all full up on rucksacks um i know there's a couple of zombies inside for sure i can hear them and this house will also provide us with meds is there a horde inside where oh they're right there okay holy crap i thought they were inside the shed it's locked up crap okay we got him did he Coming just open that which way. oh oh he did nice is it still locked if i open it okay that's another thing too if i mean it's just weird that um your uh the other survivors can open locked doors for you okay. how do i do this oh he turned around perfect Nice. There's a horde, so we're not gonna do fast search. Empty. If my search makes noise, bro, that horde is gonna be on me so fast. Yeah, we're gonna take our sweet time. If only I had room for okay. it. Okay. So we know we have food and meds to come back for, which is good. I'm finished looking through this place. Okay, nice. Where is she? I need I need you. It's time for us to find new digs. You're empty. Here we go. Oh, there's one more. Where is it? Oh, it's in the back. Nothing here. kicking in here. that one okay, those beehives beehives should contain food or seeds but not rucksacks I don't think there's rucksacks in those seems all settled now House is just for four meters away, basically the next next house over. So we're gonna finish looting this whole row of houses here. Oh, nice! We got a we got a uh, was that pipe bomb? Nice. They're good for. Uh, oh, and that's the other thing. Cool, cool hint. Any, no room for that. Oh, we got fuel too. Nice. Um, hint. If you're doing this on lethal. Collect and save all your explosives. You're gonna need it for plague hearts. Unless unless you like crafting them, but crafting them will will be expensive. Um, and it uses materials, so different materials. Fuel if uh, you get fire fire explosives, um Molotov, uh and then for for bombs, it'll use ammunition materials. Can I? Is he gonna see me if I go and? That won't work. Screamer in my base. I need a break. Down to the last one. Oh my god, get out of here, Screamer. That 
pack is hunting for something. Oh my gosh. We got a horn now. They attracted a horn. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Teamwork. Oh my goodness. I forgot they throw they throw so a freaking sure screamer in your base on lethal. I totally forgot about that. Okay. So we gotta secure the whole house. So if you guys look on the um on the uh, bottom left corner where your mini map is, it zooms into the house map. And all the little boxes, those are the That'll places we need to secure. Let's and I'll do place that and once, settled, you've, shall we? once the building idea. is secured. And we can go over here and claim it. Nice. We can unload everybody. Our first priority has to be gathering so, materials. Oh, got that. We'll need them to improve this place. You know, it'd be great if you could go scout out a place for us. Um. It's coming along. Okay. Don't you worry. Sweet. Pretty I'm gonna leave their their cool. heals and stamina snacks and whatnot. Okay, where's the other girl? I'll take your ammo. No room for that. Oh, right. Now remember, this new stuff's for sharing. Uh, okay. Gotta go unload uh, Lisa. If only I had room for it. Don't need that. Oh, and also another thing is luxury items, man. Save them. Save them. Um, they're good for earning uh, influence by selling them to uh, traders. Traders. I can't talk today. I don't know why. Uh, okay. Okay, while the light... Uh, we still have sunlight. Let's do this. Let's clear the debris here. And... Okay, okay, we'll do that. I don't want to build just yet. Because when you build, it actually makes noise level. So right now, we have uh, plus three command center, passive noise from population, and then plus two trash when we cleared that front, or the back, uh, this one, the back section here. So... Do one, one uh, uh, thing at a time, so we have less noise. Right. All right. So the first thing, while we still have light, uh, I would like to go and scout uh, the cell tower. Okay. So we've cleared that. Perfect. See how it's now in tranquil. Now. Let's clear, let's fix this one, master bedroom. Okay, it's still in tranquil. Glad we've already got a start on building this base now it's up in background real. for noise traffic. So, that's okay. It's in the yellow, that's fine. Once it's in orange, we have a big problem. Because it will attract um, zombies. Be there as soon as I can. I'll keep my eyes guys... for you. Okay. Here for all seasons or is our first uh, mission it's an easy one but I have to go uh, I have to go and retrieve or find oh, a crossbow yeah. for it now tell me that's that a van race. that's a road racer MX I might have to um, might have to uh, purchase a our meat wagon I think it's a thousand influence for it Nothing like a job well done. Curveballs. 
have awoken. Wait, what? Already? That wasn't supposed to happen until the fourth that's day. Plague heart. Oh, please tell me that plague heart is still sleeping. Okay, good. Plague hearts are very Let's easy to awaken. Let's keep that for when we need an outpost. So keep that in mind, guys. When you guys are doing lethal, oh my lord. Yeah, nothing more to see here. Yeah, avoid screamers um, that are within the. Speaking of screamers, there's one down there. <laughs> um, avoid <clears throat> killing or getting seen by them around Plague Heart uh, zones. Okay, so first thing I'd like to do is go get. And I'm out. Go get uh, the crossbow. I think. If I'm in luck, uh, I'm gonna go to the warehouse over here. There should be some materials on, at this warehouse. Uh, I'm gonna go take the back side. Again, avoid them as much as possible, man. Is that a bloater? That's a bloater right there. He's laying down, which is good. If, if he's standing up. I mean, they're pretty slow. Does he see me already? Okay, he lost me. Good. See, see what I mean? I was just running pretty far away from the screamer. Seems and he already, he already noticed me. And then I ducked down and he lost he lost me. So they're very they're very um their awareness is very uh very good. Very sensitive and lethal. I guess this doesn't suck. Should be a thing of materials here. Well that ain't half bad. Yep. Yep. Apparently there's a trick to avoid, if you want to do fast search, there's a, there's a trick to avoid, um, um, to avoid your search making noise, um, but I haven't tried it. You're supposed to do like one, two, three, like that. Oh, we got pistol, nice. One, two, three. Oh, no it's working. Oh, we got ammo, nice. Perfect. See on this side, or they're just on the other side there. Let's see if it works on this one. What? Yep. No way they that, didn't hear yeah, that. it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, we're booking it. No, nope, wrong way. Wrong way. Empty. Let's not waste time here. <gasps> um, that butter should still be out here. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid. And I would like to go to back to the base real quick, you know drop me. this off, Just trying to make and then we'll go get the crossbow. Yeah, I'm all run out. Crossbow. I hope I get the light, the light crossbow, because um, because uh, all your bolts are retrievable. Drop these off as well. Um, I like to empty out my my weapons. That it's just to you, you know double check inventory um, counts. So I know how much ammo in total I have. Uh, that shed, this red roof shed right here, should have another material rucksack of material. But we're good. oh crapo spot me he did spot me that triggered, another one. that triggered another one holy crap okay we're running we're running we're running 
don't have a snack to use for stamina. It's okay, it's okay, we're good. Only one is chasing. There's a couple. There's also a way to lose uh, zombies if you're fast enough. They just stop. Yeah, they they're, they're like, where do you go? Okay, the right door should be locked. The right side of the door should be locked. It's locked up. But the left side. <laughs> Guys, if you didn't know that, that's my tip to you. If you come to this area in Meager Valley, that door is always open. It's unlocked, sorry. Crossbow? Nope, bullets. Okay. I think the crossbow is uh, on the in behind the counter. One of the ones behind the counter. I'm gonna assume it's this one right here. Give me light crossbow, please. Oh, it's a snub nose, snub nose pistol. Okay, maybe it's this one. Oh, I really hope there's one here. It's random loot, guys. It's random loot. On my last playthrough, the one, uh, the one I deleted just now, that one had a crossbow uh, here. Okay, so we have an ammo rucksack, but I would like to save my rucksack slot for the material. I think we're pretty okay with the ammo. Plus, nothing but crap. Wow, really? One more to check. Shoot, please have one. Please have one. I don't. I. I literally don't know where to where to look next. Oh no. I don't Looks know like where else out. crossbow would be if it's not here. Actually, I, I can't do carry that much. technically, but again, it's random loot, so we won't know where exactly. Um, there is a couple of gun stores, um, it's not here. Okay. Nope. I've seen what there is okay. to see. So our next option, option is we can either, I think there's a gun shop. Ooh, it might be on this side here, I think this one here maybe or or this one yeah okay so we didn't get a crossbow so this is gonna be a little bit harder now to do that first mission unless by miracle they had they can sell one wow she's got a big booty holy crap <laughs> They made her a little, little, little plump. And we're gonna avoid zombies as much as possible, especially screamers and uh, ferals. Ferals are ridiculously hard to kill in this in this difficulty. Ridiculous. Like. Looks like they're cleared out. But I'll show you my strategy for ferals. Um, I saw uh, the, the YouTuber that I watched, the Lethal Difficulty Guide, um, for State of the Cake 2. Where am I supposed to His put it? strategy for killing lethal uh, ferals is very hard. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. He's... I mean... It's for some people, and sometimes it's not. I find, 
I find uh, getting up on either your vehicle or a truck or something, and just because zombies zombies can't. There are certain cars, broken cars that they can climb, but your vehicle, the van that we're gonna be. Let me see if I actually have enough. Never be in the Independence Pack. I don't. It's a meat wagon. Uh, I only have 4.45, okay, so we're gonna have to wait. Um, yeah, that meat wagon van is good for climbing on the roof and then just, yeah, just shooting zombies. Uh, although it's not good for um, juggernauts, so don't try. Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna take some of these luxury items and what else don't we need? I don't use flashbang grenades and these noisemakers. Uh, box of mines will keep. Okay, so I'm going to go to the survivors and um, trigger the first mission. Start the first mission. It's not timed. Some are. Uh, in the meantime, we'll build a, an infirmary. Out of fuel, okay, and food. We know where a food rucksack is, so we're safe. It's only a couple doors down uh, from our base, so also there's 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 more food area we can grab. Uh, grab the rucksacks of food. Squalones, squalones, squalones. I don't know how you guys pronounce that. Sounds Spanish. Skelones. Is there gas here? Oh shoot, that's a screamer. Yeah. You can tell because it sounds like they're they're hissing slash gargling. He's he's in he's in those bushes somewhere. Nothing to turn your nose up at. Oh, he's right there. Okay. <sighs> we're not going to bother him, and he won't bother us. As long as we're quiet. Okay, this is the barbecue place where we can get food. Oh, man, I thought that... I thought that was a feral, but that was just a piece of paper floating around. <laughs> okay, so this building is food. See? The air's like blood soup. Gotta be a plague heart nearby. Wait, plague what? zombies too, I bet. Oh, they're on this side now. Oh crap! They're usually here at the gas station. Crap! That's a. Oh, that's gonna make my freaking. That just made our gameplay a little bit harder now. The reason being is. Usually this area gets in, um, gets infestations very fast, and the, my strategy for clearing infestations is I I lure them out of these buildings wherever whichever building is uh, infested, and I bring them to the to the survivors, and then they help me kill them with no cost. But unfortunately, this time around, they spawned on that side. So this is going to be a little bit harder now. Dang it. I was hoping they would be at the gas station. Maybe another enclave will come, will we'll, we'll, uh, claim that one of those buildings. Because it would be great help if we have one enclave where we're going right now and one at the gas station. At least we get some protection. Uh, from infestations or help for the infestations. Oh, nice. We got more items to uh, to sell for influence. My cardio just went up. Nice. Speaking of which, actually, I forgot to check. Uh, no, I can't choose a leader yet. Yeah, we can't upgrade any of the skills yet, but what I would like to do. Wow, Grace is very old.
She's depressed. She's depressed. Okay, so our entire community is depressed. Um, we're gonna change our attire. We're gonna put on our mechanic mechanic overalls. This one, and we'll do the pumpkin head. Yeah. We're gonna do all of them. Pumpkin, pumpkin head, uh, community. Looks pretty badass. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Another screamer right there on the right. I always tell a screamer because they don't have arms. Oh no! Oh my god, my stamina. Oh, oh I got I got infected. Oh crap, I'm dead. Oh my god. I got five minutes to live. Two. And I don't even have a freaking plague cure. Shit. No. Why? Dude. I got two minutes to live. It looks like she's she's a goner. She's a goner. Our first survivor, guys, is gonna die. I was hoping that I wasn't gonna die this soon. We tried to Oh my god, I'm a screamer. Bro, help. Nothing like a job well done. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm dead. I'm this so dead, bro. I gotta do something about it. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh man. No. What you got? Okay. Here. Here, my last. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> 43 minutes. It took me 43 minutes to lose one survivor. That's how, that's how hard it is, guys. That's how hard it is. Okay, we're gonna go to Donald now. Crap, man. Oh, boy, that's tough. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Um, I should have brought a gun. Like, I'm trying not. Okay, that's the other thing with bringing a gun. You're, you're gonna make noise with it, especially if you don't have a silencer. But just for safety precaution, we will bring one in case we encounter another uh, feral. Fuck, man, I'm so bummed. I didn't realize he was chilling. I think he was the one that chills by the road. Like the road here, this road, he chills here. Because I saw him coming from this side. Man, we lost one survivor already. It's okay, it's okay. It's not the end. Oh, it's not the end. We, we will. We will rebuild. Man, 40 minutes just to get one survivor killed. Yeah, let's see if we can loot 
here real quick. Maybe we can find some um, something to sell to the the enclave over there. That's a screamer, just a uh, few few meters away from us, because I can hear him growling. He's literally right there. Man. Man. The the playthrough that I deleted for this new one. I I think I, think I was this. I made it to three days without getting somebody killed. Three days. But I did not I also completed the first mission too, without um, without killing anyone. But I did wake up a couple of plague hearts, and that was an issue because um, when you wake up plague hearts in lethal uh, difficulty, um, they actually they actually uh, summon and spawn uh, infestations and hordes around your base. So it just makes it a lot more difficult for you to manage. Um, but yeah, I, I really want to beat this game. Um, at least beat beat it with one one uh, leader and lethal. We can loot. We can loot Lisa. <laughs> oh, man, I'm bummed. Don't worry, my friend. I've got your back. Uh, okay. Are right, you up for some trading? Okay. Uh, what do they have? They have materials. I'll get the materials actually, and then that's crafting. I don't need. That's no. I don't need that. I don't need that for now. Okay. Let's sell her backpack. I got some stuff to trade. All right. I don't need this backpack right now. And this. Oh, crap. That's another two thing too, guys. Um, so weapons, I would suggest, well, my strategy for weapons, if there's if there's anything with very, especially like uh, like side, side weapons, uh, secondary weapon, I would put that uh, for... I would save those for uh, salvaging because they do they do give parts. As you can see, when you salvage them, this one gives eight. Um, same with that. This one's thirty-five. Melee, the same thing. Any any melee weapons, save it for salvaging. Guns as well. Well, it depend. Guns depend. If you're desperate for for part for parts, yes. Um, or if you're desperate in influence, sell them. But I would say. Melee weapons are best for for salvaging. Let's yeah, just let's just do this. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. The best place to find them is in the territory around a plague heart. Those things basically infect their whole environment. It's nasty as fuck. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. Man, grab your big okay. guns. You don't want to fuck around with this one. Helping um, out like this is a good way to make friends. Okay. Let's hope this pays off. There's Use two screamers out already outside. Goodness gracious. Do I want this? It's out of fuel. Okay. Hey, look at this. Already, like, our base is already surrounded by, like, there's a horde here. Screamer bloater, screamer bloater, screamer bloater, screamer bloater, screamer bloater, horde, another screamer bloater, screamer. They're always. Oh, and there's another feral here. Crap. Wow, that spawned real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, they want us to destroy this, but I'm not gonna do that in lethal, man. I would rather gather plague samples by killing uh, plague zombies. And that's why we need a crossbow. Is the only way. Or you can actually uh, do stealth attacks, but it's very dangerous to do stealth attacks or close combat. That's why we want the crossbow for a little distant distance uh, uh, zombie killing. 
Is there anything in here? Oh! Oh, we need that. Okay, anything to loot Well, there's in nothing here? here but dust and cobwebs. I want to go to the shed and check out the ch shed here in the back. But we got to be careful, there's two screamers. There's one over there. I don't see the other one. I, I think I see his head peeking over the fence there. Yep, that's him. Yeah, I see his red eyes. <laughs> Nobody here but us. Please have a crossbow. Please have a crossbow. Now that's oh, quite a load. that's even better. Well, for plague hearts, yes. Heavy weapons, bruh. They also can knock zombies down when you if you get too overwhelmed, and it gives you time to do um. I was hoping for more. A like a focused attack, I guess. Where do I find a crossbow? I'm just thinking. No place to put it. Okay, so okay, we're gonna try to avoid them, but we're gonna make our way back to our place. Oh crap. I did not see you there, bud. Oh, thank god you're not a book monster. Are you? No, nope, you're not either. We're, track we're attracting zombies now too. Their, their, noise, their noise level is higher as well. Can't do it. Oh. This thing is heavy. I gotta catch my breath. Um, the thing with heavy weapons is they do deplete your stamina very quickly. Uh, where's that feral? The bloater there. I think we'll cut across here and then straight. Okay, so we'll go around this way. Oh, what's here? Did I already loot up here? I did not. Okay. Maybe a crossbow? Crossbow, crossbow. Call this. We'll call this episode "In Search for a Crossbow." Where am I gonna put that? How am I supposed nope. to carry we that? We did not find a crossbow. That's okay. Stop going up. Thank you. And we're gonna go around. Blood? Blood zombie? Okay. Oh boy. Okay. What can I... <laughs> My morale is hopeless. Um, okay. Screamer down there. Oh, he's right there. Oh crap. Oh crap. Please go back. I think he knows we're here. Their hearing is very good now. Yeah, he knows we're here. Okay. As long as we are sneak on stealth mode and we avoid him, we should be fine. And there's, there's a horde there too. Crap, which way are they going? Are they going down the hill? This is a blood, blood zombie. Hopefully he'll give us a sample. Another, another, uh, another hint for you guys, a little warning basically, um, if you 
if you attack Blood Zombie in a heart plague, uh, heart, uh, plague heart zone, uh, not using stealth, it will wake up the plague heart. So, to avoid that, always attack and kill uh, zombies within plague heart zone. And what I mean by zone is this, this right here, like this, all these, all this cloudy area here. If you kill zombies, not using your stealth, like no, uh, no stealth in this uh, cloudy area, it will wake up this plague heart. Um, but yeah, you'll you'll stir it up first. But I think it only takes one or two zombies to stir it up, and then the third one will wake it up. So try not to kill zombies in that area. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, you can always find blood zombies roaming around in non uh, non plague heart zones uh, to collect plague heart samples. So, all people. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You have a screamer there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt. Yeah, no more deadheads here. Okay, nobody heard me, right? I think we're okay. I just wanna, I just wanna search. Scre the screamer's nearby, but I think we're okay. Um, I just want to like search this area because if I if I am full up now, I can come back here yeah, and collect it very that's fast. A nice one. Oh, I can't no stack the freaking toolkits. Ah, shoot, we have a horde coming in. Where am I gonna put that? Actually, you know what? No place to put it. Where am I gonna put that? Might have a plan to avoid this sword. Okay, wait. Are they right outside? Oh, they are. Okay. Let them pass. Let them pass. Screamer is crap. Right here too. I have a peek at where exactly where he is. He's right there. Okay. Is the horde gone? Okay, good. Oh, goodness gracious, man. This is intense. All right, we're good. We're in the clear. I wouldn't just start running if if, uh, if it wasn't safe. They. That's another screamer. They do. That's a blower. Right around the corner here. Yep. Uh, is the screamer facing us or downhill? Oh, he's facing uh, uphill. Okay, good. Okay, so it is five influence for uh for freak. They're called freak zombies. So like ferals, ferals, bloaters, and screamers. Um, I think juggernauts are they're on, on their own category. But uh, okay, we got our material. Hey, I'm back. Man, I was hoping to get an early crossbow, dude. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so. Get rid of these. Okay, we didn't have to use. Wait, what bullets did it take? Oh, it was this one. Okay, so we need a food, a food, meds, and fuel. Um. Okay, so we gotta go retrieve the food and the meds that we passed on these houses here. Oh, you know what would be cool? Um, 
Undead Labs, um, is I have this idea. I, I have this pitch, sorry, for a skill. Um, so, for a skill earned or learned, could be a book or something. Um, so, actually, let me loot this area first. So, each survivor should have, or should be able to learn, or maybe a trait, that, so instead of, like, let's say, so we know there's, there's, there's a, there's a, um, a screamer here, right? So, that's, that's how I, I would have to do it now, to, like, pinpoint their location. And if they start moving, the, the icon, the icon, the indicator icon will move with them as well but see if i if i remove it it's gone i don't know where he's moved to right so what if we had a skill that we can learn for a survivor that if he gets a certain if he gets if he gets close to a certain distance to any zombie that indicator should pop up and then if you move away from that distance it will disappear so it's like a like a visual indicator that hey this this said zombie is in this location and this uh, distance because like doing this manually just so you know their exact location is kind of it's eh it's okay it's it's nice to have but sometimes like basically what I'm trying to say is like an awareness zone because like. I've had time to time. I've had like I'll be sneaking up on a on a um, on a screamer, and then out of nowhere comes a freaking feral. And you, because okay. they're so fast, right? Ferals are so fast. You, you you like you hear them too late, basically. Um, which way is he facing? He's facing towards me. Okay. You know what? I just want to go home. We'll come back to him. I, I, well, let's focus on one thing at a time. I'm gonna put the gasoline in because we're out. And I gotta go and collect the food and medicine that we missed on the other two houses. And I think we're gonna call it there, guys. After that. Gotta catch we my did, breath. We didn't get the crossbow, so we don't get to call this episode uh, <laughs> In Search of a Crossbow. Um, but we'll probably try to get it done on the next episode. Uh, basically, this episode will just will have full setup of our base. Um, that feral's head is armored. Wait, where? See, I don't know where. So, I'm gonna mark him so I know exactly where he, where he's at. This is 65 meters away. Always oh, moving away. Thank God. Okay, good. Stay away from me. You already killed one of my survivors. Okay, we got our meds, and we gotta go back for the food. That screamer calls its friends. I'm in trouble. Okay, as long as you're out of reach, under 60 or uh, above 60 meters, I should be okay. I think their their visual awareness is um i think it's uh 50 meters for the ferals i think i'm not 100 percent sure but it could be 50 meters they're very good um let's go grab the last rucksack we'll, we'll put our base to to the to the white zone for all for all the um the resources so right now the only thing that's yellow is food so let's go grab the food that was over here while we uh keep our keep our distance from the feral and also from other zombies like that guy <laughs> i saw him and noticed them too late but we're okay we're okay i think the food was here I think the food was here. Could be something else. 
Ah, I was right. Let's go. All right, so we've put all of our resources to white zone after we drop it off. You're not a blood zombie, so I can, I can do that. Man, I can't believe we lost one person in this episode, guys. Um, I'll do better next time. <laughs> don't don't be sorry, just do better. Alright. We're up. So on the top left corner there we got our food, our meds, our ammo, our materials, our fuel. And then at the bottom of that row we have uh community members. We have two left, obviously. Um our parts, we have ninety-eight. Because parts is used as currency as well for crafting, obviously. Wow. And my influence is 666. <laughs> um, but we have... Okay, so that last last icon there is the... I believe those. that's what you call a... Um, a uh, what do you call the... Um, What do you call that thing? Um, it's a certain group, it's like military, military group, but they, you earn, um, oh, prestige points. They're called prestige points. That's it. Um, but yeah, you can get, you can recruit uh, military people with prestige points. They're very high quality survivors, but I don't think we're going to, we don't have enough. And you can only get, get the prestige points for doing um, a different game mode in State of Decay 2. But guys, um, we're going to call it there. Uh, we did our best on our first episode. We, we've killed... Um, we lost Lisa. I wasn't hoping for that. I was trying to avoid it. But um, And we also tr uh, started our first mission, A Cure for All Seasons. Uh, that's gonna, We're, we're going to work on that on the next episode. Um, but... Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Art Kane, signing out.